Having your sales channel connected and set up properly is crucial to make sure your orders are importing successfully. However, connecting a sales channel is quick and simple within Ordoro, and if you need to make adjustments to the setup, you may do so in just a couple of steps. Once you're sure the channel is connected correctly, you may want to adjust what you are syncing to and from it, and, and you can do that in a matter of a few clicks as well. So this tutorial is just going to demonstrate how to connect and set up your sales channel, as well as how to modify your settings for it. So to get started, let's go ahead and create a connect to see how we're going to connect a sales channel. So we'll go to settings and then sales channels. And you'll see I already have a few sales channels here. So if I wanted to add another sales channel, I would click add a sales channel. And then in this drop down, I'll be able to select what cart I would like to add. So depending on your, the cart that you're adding, there's different information required. At uh, Amazon, for example, you click add a sales channel, it takes you to Amazon, you log in. And then you confirm that we can access your orders and then it redirects you back to Ordoro and you're in your sales channel settings and Amazon's connected. Others like Big Commerce, if you're connecting it through here, you would enter an API path in your cart username and your API token and save that information. And then once you add that sales channel and save that information, we're going to try and sync. And then if the information was entered properly, the sync will be successful. We'll import your products and any open orders. Or BigCommerce also has the option to add us from their app store, which is probably an easier process because you just add it like you would any other BigCommerce app. So I would suggest that for them. And then lots of other sales channels do this authorization where you just route to your sales channel and approve access others you need to enter your url and then add that sales channel and it'll route you to approve the access um, lots of different ways depending on the channel like i said so if you have any questions about those definitely let us know but we also have support articles on all of the different types of connections so you can find that information within our support site which is just support.org.com so then once you've added a sales channel, like I said, you might want to modify the settings. Maybe it's a big commerce cart, for example, and you need to enter the information a little bit differently. It wasn't quite accurate. You can definitely do that there. Or if you need to modify the locations that are writing back to a sales channel, we have an issue or an issue. Sorry, we have a YouTube video on how to modify that those warehouses and, and really what that does and everything. So definitely check that out if that's interesting. But that's something that you would edit in your sales channel settings so you can modify which warehouses are writing back to your sales channel here and click save. And then there's carts like this, you'll see the square, let's say I modified settings there or changed my password, something like that. So order a lot. Any, any way that Ordoro could lose access, you can reauthorize that by clicking this button. It routes you there, you approve it, and you're back to your Ordoro account as well. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, you can connect your sales channel within just a few clicks. Um, you can even set it up when you're, when you're going through the Ordoro setup process. It'll help you through connecting a sales channel. So super simple, but definitely reach out if you have questions. On the other side of it, once your sales channel is connected and you have these settings correct and how you want them, another thing that you're going to want to modify and, and, and keep track of is your sync settings. And this is access through this blue button here, which you can access from any tab within the account. You can modify that really quickly. So to do that, we'll basically click sync here. And then you'll see right now I have some wonky settings because this is a test account that I play around with, but you'll see I'm writing back inventory for these two carts. This uh, Shopify cart is on InstaSync, so those orders are importing as soon as they're placed. But that's really, that's the only communication I'm having with my sales channels right here. Typically what customers will have set up is importing orders and writing inventory back for all of their carts. So for example, if I wanted to modify that for, for a cart, you see I just checked those boxes. If it's something that I wanted to sync just this one time, I don't want my auto sync to update where it's importing orders and writing inventory back every time. I can hit sync once and this will just kick off a one-time sync with the sales channel to for that one for example it's going to import orders and write inventory back but if we and you'll see here when this task is when a task is running some sort of sync with the sales channel you'll see that this is gray and spinning so you know when it's kind of syncing but when i click this again you will see 
these boxes are unchecked because I only clicked sync once. If I wanted to make sure that that was something that was automatically syncing every time, then I would select those boxes and then select update auto sync settings. So this is going to, when I click this button, all of the boxes that are checked right now, those are tasks that are gonna run once I update those auto sync settings. So when I click that, it's gonna go ahead and kick off some syncs. And then you'll also see when I open that back up, these two boxes are checked. So I don't actually want those to sync, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off here. And then it's that's all you gotta do, it's pretty simple. If you, want to check on the status of your syncs and kind of see what's been happening, we have this activity menu right here. So if you click on this drop down, you will see that uh, any errors with syncing and any active syncs and, and, and kind of what the past activity has been. We show the past five here. If you are curious about anything else, just let us know. We can help you figure out if something's uh, questionable or, or you want to see what's going on. And that's pretty much it for the sales channel settings. It's, it's really simple to use. You'll see once you have your sales channels, uh, you can see what products they're associated with here in the products section. You can see on orders what the sales channel is. If it's in this expanded view, you can see the sales channel that the order came from. And you can also filter down to the, your different sales channels as well. So lots of options here. If you have any questions about sales channel setup or settings, just let us know though and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.